example of what this exercise eventually becomes, you see. It's a very good example of what it actually eventually becomes. This, is, this takes advantage of this particular paper. This paper, this sketch paper, nature sketch, has a lot of grain to it, lots of tooth. Now look, there's a combination. I want to explain this to you now. You might as well know this. There's a combination of several things for the artist. The artist plays a, a balance game, a juggling game. Now in drawing, the game is between your eye, your hand, the pencil, and the paper, and your brain. Okay? Because your brain is going to supply almost everything you need. That's your best tool, your best weapon. As they used to say in the military, your best weapon is in your head. Now, the same thing is true in painting. There's a balance game between the brush, the paper, the paint, the eye, the hand, and the brain, and the heart. Why the heart in painting and not in drawing? Because drawing is a mechanical skill. It can be argued that it isn't, but it is a mechanical skill. Painting quite often uses color, and color is emotional trigger. Various colors and color combinations will cause emotional triggers in most people. Where they would not respond necessarily to something in black and white, they'll respond very strongly to something in color. This is something you need to know about. Mm. It's just something that, that the average wall artist has to know. A wall artist is somebody who paints stuff that goes on the wall, as opposed to somebody who creates stuff to go on a pedestal in the middle of the room.